So, uh, we've got some errands to run today. We are gonna go sell a few things for some cash. That's what Rush is also doing because Rush is amazing and is making the trip out to uh, to Medina with all the ice. Well, soon. Someday. Just finishing up its series. I hope the queue wasn't too bad. Now, it has that annoying thing where the countdown for buying ice boxes is so short that by the time you actually select where you want it to go into your inventory, it resets. Oh, I hate that. I may have to redesign the entrance into Hat Packet to give it just a little bit more room. It is somewhat frustrating getting in and out. Yeah, just a little bit. I was just going for minimum size and mass, but... Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you could cut down the mass uh, a bit more if you just have the vent on the hot bar and just yeah. remove that inner door. Could do, but then it's not an airlock. It's just a vacuum chamber. Is it a vacuum chamber when it's in a vacuum? We have spacesuits. It's not really that important. <laughs> well, I got a, I got a few mil for that. Like uh, eight and a half mil, or what was just lying around in our base. Excellent. It's something. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something. So I think with what I have here and with what's already on Pucker Factor, that there should be enough for me to build the Sword of Josh, which is what we need to murderize some railgun ships, right? Mm-hmm. Although we're gonna need a lot of torpedoes. Oh, we have the chips for it, so whether or not we have everything else. Should we have, do, but... we have we have enough chips for maybe one or two runs. <laughs> we're gonna because from what I understand, we're gonna need to fairly well vomit torpedoes at the enemy in order to kill what we need to kill. Well, once the tempest refit is done, she can uh, fit a few. Okay. Basically, oh. I'm just waiting on the components. 1.0 sim speed and DX2. I'm loving it. Did they do some updates or did people just start losing interest in the server? Uh, I'm sure. Uh, there's 34 people on. But there's a bunch of people in DX5, so that might be part of it. Okay, I like the stabilizers. Oh, are you going foosh right now? What's your speed on uh, Randy Dandy? Uh, full burn. 2080 and climbing. Yeah, I think the speedometer isn't showing me the accurate, but the fact that I'm approaching a GPS at. At yes, very velocity. <laughs> Have you been to Medina before? Have I? Yes. Okay, so you know not to what? fly through the gate at speed. <laughs> no, yeah, don't do that. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about some of my Expanse RPG campaign ideas, but I don't know if Candor wants to hear any setting stuff. I'm not going to talk about uh, the the plot or anything, but I have been working on it recently. Yes, you mentioned you're going to uh, spend some time in the hotels. Uh, uh, I did a little bit of thinking in the hotel. I didn't do a lot of writing down, but recently I, I had a notebook and I've been, I feel like five or six pages scribbled down of various ideas and things. Um, nice, nice. Uh, so if you don't mind me talking about the setting, I, I, yeah. I, would, I would like to. So, fair warning, this contains some spoilers. I will not give details. But the major spoiler for the final bit of The Expanse, the last book of The Expanse, is that the ring gates all close. That is the spoiler. 
and this necessarily truncates some of humanity off from other parts of humanity. So the setting I have in mind is a custom system that is as yet unnamed because I haven't come upon a name that makes me happy for the system yet. Um, a fairly mineral-rich system that has just trash planets in it, like nothing really good to live on. People will still, you know, build domes and do stuff anyway. Um, the setting is about a hundred years after the closing of the Ring Gates. So, they've had time to do things. Principally, the, the dead ring, they pushed into an actual orbit around the star and spun it up because it's a 1,000 kilometer ring and that makes a really good spot for a station. So we've got mm -hmm. a 1,000 kilometer diameter ring that's about two to two and a half kilometers deep maybe three, I haven't decided yet. Uh, that All that internal area is now space I can play with as, as settings and places and things in the world, and I'm so excited to start fleshing it out and seeing what players do to flesh it out. I have some really, really cool ideas about uh, some arcs and some little, little, like, side quests and then the main... Quest. I have a, a motivation for the big bad evil guy. Um, I'm 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 starting to see pieces sprinkle around, and so I want to start getting to that and maybe figure out how to make some maps and get some art done, all that fun stuff. But uh, basically, so in the century or so since the ring gates collapsed, they've lost some tech. Like Epstein's, mm -hmm. they can't make them. They can't make Epstein's anymore. They have some still, but they've been maintained by cannibalizing other Epstein's. So Epstein drive ships are rare. So they can build torch ships like Chet Smoka was in the book, not in the show. So they can, they can zip and then go on the float and take, you know, weeks to months to get places instead of the, hey, it takes us 30 hours to get to Earth of the brachistochrone trajectories that the, the show can do. Mm -hmm. But there are also fewer POIs. Like, there's there's stuff on the planet. There's, there's going to be one planet that has an atmosphere, but you can't breathe it. But it's a good source of organics, which is how everyone survived. And, uh... Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm just super excited to do the whole thing because I, I, I like world building. You you might have guessed. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I had so much fun with the. Uh, uh, there. Goodbye. Goodbye. I just overshot because I'm too busy talking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, death, so in the, it's a lack of industry. So they're still bootstrapping up to where they were, right? They, they focus very much on, we have to stay alive and we have to be able to build space stations and other things and things to feed us. So on the surface of this, of this station of the, the, the ring gate now ring station, there are all sorts of used to be spaceships, now buildings and pressure domes and things from uh there is a bit of an evacuation at the end of the book uh that people just kind of go to whatever gate is closest because they're they're basically told that the ring gates are going to be closing soon so a bunch of ships got there but not a lot of like no one brought a factory with them and they had like refineries and smelting stuff already on site from all the things that were going on because it was kind of a mining system. But other than that, just not a whole lot. But so we'll still have the, the mix of earthers, Martians and belters, but everyone's just gonna be more belters. But we'll also have the mix where like maybe some Laconians got put in there 
maybe some people from Illus got put in there, you know? So the backgrounds yeah. are going to be much wider. Um, I haven't decided if any, like, actual Laconian ships ended up there yet, because that would be, that would be kind of fun. Um, I, like I said, I have a, a plot for the big bad evil guy, and I also have, uh, what if the party doesn't stop the big bad evil guy, and that doesn't actually end the game. There's a path bad. forward from that that is, I'm actually excited about too if like people fail horribly. So I like, I'm, I'm excited because I've set up a way for people to not do the main objective correctly, but still be able to play the game. And oh yes, there will be consequences, but I don't know, I'm excited. So what you're saying is you've planned ahead for everyone spending uh, three weeks shopping. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we would never <laughs> ever do that. Oh, I wouldn't. Um, I think the plan currently is that Nab and I are going to co-GM it. Ew. Um, so like sometimes she might GM a session, I might GM a session. It'd be really fun because we can play together and uh, she can voice the female NPCs and I can voice the male NPCs. It'll be fun. It'll be mm -hmm. really fun. Yes. I know I'm almost out of O2. I got 16% left. I will dock and it will be fine. Everything's going to be okay. Probably not, but I'll I'll pretend it's going to be okay. Cuz that's what we do in the expanse. Is we pretend it's going to be okay. Fake it till you make it. Story, story of my life. <laughs> Still says donkey balls on the bottom. Well, wow, she's mm -hmm. actually pretty well armed for a jumped up rock hopper. Mm -hmm. There's five PDCs? Nice. Yep. Going to full burn. It'll have to be above two kilometers a second, you say? Yep. I do love the Caminas. Yeah, they're pretty great. All right. Seconds of hygiene burn. <laughs> Pretty awesome, isn't it? Holy cow! So to slow down, I just I just slow down the same way. You just Epstein stabilizer off. offline or damaged? Uh. Uh, weird. It just... <laughs> oh my gosh, 15 kilometers a second. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. I'll drop out of 300 because I don't know what it's going to do if I accidentally cross over. Oh, it just cuts out if you okay. cross over with it. Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. <laughs> I, I'm assuming I cross into DX5 first. Yes. And there's a brief run over uh, to the actual scrapyard itself. And that's the part that I thought, you know what, I'm going to stick some guns on this just in case. Obviously, for the love of God, do not get into PDC range of anything. Oh yeah, for sure. But it's just in case they throw a torpedo at you. This thing's got enough uh, thrust that I'm not too worried. And I actually, I like the Redfields, I think, better than the Nerimans, just because they've got the higher rate of fire, which I think gives them a slight edge in CQB. Not that it wouldn't end in uh, total destruction, but instead of pinpointing a bunch of little things, it's just like, no, this whole general area is just gonna go away as evidenced in the last video from <laughs> from just one or two PDCs firing at poor Quarjet. It was like it was like the scene from Wrath of Khan when 
the Reliance is shooting its phaser cannon along the side of the Enterprise. That's what went through my head. That's why I didn't do anything. I was just watching. I was like, what? I, I, like, I could have burned a little bit more. I could have tried to evade a little bit more. But when it started, I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> so what, you, what you're saying is you got Scotty's nephew killed. I see. Scotty's nephew was already dead. He died in like 1984. No, 82. 82? Rathacon's 82? 82. That's such a good movie. Such a good movie. It is the best submarine movie Star Trek ever made. Yes. Decelerating into the scrapyard. I have entered safe zone. Excellent. Oh, this is fun scenery, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, we got a spawn. You got a spawn? Oh, no, I got a spawn. You did. Ah, can't touch me in here, buddy. Is there anything else you sell over here other than the components? Uh, I don't think so. I know you sell the coffee at the um, Martian equivalent. Um, how, where do I sell them? The stores don't have any sell thing on them. Uh, they should do. Oh, there they One go. Now it, now it shows. Okay, whatever. Um. Okay, I think it's just lying to me because now I can't see. Huh. Holy cow, that's a lot of... It's a lot of money. Yeah. I think you then buy them back from the store opposite. Yeah. They haven't processed yet. I can hear the admin refinery doing its thing. Item no longer exists. Excuse oh, it me? Be on a refresh. It refreshed. <sighs> Try going back in. Maybe it'll still be got there. It, got it, got it, got it. We are good. We are good. Excellent. All right. We can get the heck out of here. Ah, capitalism. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. I think I just heard Rush Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I have only one criticism of Pucker Factor, and that is it desperately needs more RCS thrusters. No, it doesn't. I've been spoiled by Hand of Josh. Hand of Josh can do, like, 3G on just RCS. Do you know how inefficient that is? It's the only reason I wanted it is so it could pick things up on RCS on a moon if I needed to. Back in my day, we had one RCS thruster between an entire family, and even then we were lucky. What, you mean like when you were young 20 minutes ago? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Have I heard the word of our Lord and Savior, Josh? Yes, praise Josh. I have heard the word of Josh. I have seen the face of Josh. Praise Josh. Indeed, praise Josh. All right, let's go poke around, see if we can't find some derelict rock hoppers to nom upon in hand of Josh. We won't tell Candor that Hand of Josh's survival kit is now called Survival Kit 3 because of her refit. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Now it's just called Survival Kit. I knew that you didn't see that. <laughs> I knew it. 
Now we shall hunt. I find that the hunting towards the center of the Trojans is quite lucrative and delicious. Mm-hmm. Kenner, I think you would enjoy uh, flying a Hand of Josh ship. I think I would, yes. Oh, there's nothing scarier than an asteroid shadow going between you and crossing out the sun. <laughs> Just like, well, I'm dead. I'm dead yeah. now. I'm dead. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. Just let me pull myself off my chair. <laughs> I'm quite proud of how this ship turned out. I gave it a little bit more of an interior. I haven't done anything fancy with it, but. What I might do. Burned a series real quick. See if there's anybody there, but I don't know if I have enough. I don't have enough time to salvage something at series, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna keep on looking around here. See if we can find somebody. 100 kilometers sig. Just cruise through the asteroids. We might not find anything. It looks like things have been pretty cleaned up over here, which is good. I'm actually glad because the less I find, the better the server is running so i'm glad you like my idea of disassembling things and selling off the 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 ore what i might do is i can just temporarily build an assembler and just speed burn through all the oh target 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 OPA rock hopper, OPA rock hopper, yes. It has been renamed, so we might not be killing it. It shouldn't carry rock hopper anywhere, so you didn't quite read the rules. So I don't know. We'll see. Speed zero. The Josh hungers. The hand of Josh. Accelerate. I'll be getting more fuel shortly anyway. Turn off target guns. Looks pretty standard. not look like it's been upgraded at all. I see a character. Ordnalock. Ordnalock, are you online? Ordnalock is not online. Ordnalock is not obeying the rules. Ordnalock did not read the new player's guide. Ordnalock is now about to pay the price. One of the rules of the server is to not leave your character logged in or leave your character alive. It takes unnecessary cycles. So what we do first is we line up the grab siphon. Casting an ominous shadow. So step one, I forgot to turn on the grab siphon. Grab siphon on. Now we go out. And the first thing we do to ensure privacy is we do have to go in and murder the poor soul. Oh, apparently my guns wanted him dead through the ship. That's not great. Well, 
I didn't think they would target him through the ship. Step two, disable the survival kit and make it your own. And now he can't come back. Step three, remove the nose plate here. Turn this down a little bit so you don't hear the inventory full shenanigans. I got it to stop saying it for a while, but then it just kept going. And then, put a connector on here. Now, to be fair, if that individual had made his faction and had not left his character logged in, I would not have attacked this rock hopper. I would have let it be. These pesky rock hoppers really grind my gears. And now we pull all the hydrogen out. I mean, waste not, right? Fuel is fuel, man. There we go. Stockpile off. And now we feast. Behold the glory of Josh. Praise Josh. So there's a method to it. You want to make sure you don't lose anything. So you go from the outside in. And you can see that the grav siphon makes things a lot faster. Try to avoid pointing at the center of the blocks because that does have a tendency to destroy things as they go through. But in all likelihood, because of the way this person left their ship, they either didn't understand something, got frustrated with something, and just left it alone. I ground down one of these once and it had 300 belter components in it. Sing monkey. Sing monkey. Um, let's see. Uh, let's bring this here and bring it down. Something space related. Far away, this ship is taking me far away, far away from the memories of the people that would care if I live or die. Starlight, I will be chasing your starlight until the end of my life. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. Hold you in my arms. I just wanted to hold you in my arms. My life, you electrify my life. Let's conspire to ignite all the souls that would die just to feel alive. So on and so forth. Hope that satisfies the song, Scarlet. I usually do like sea shanties and stuff. That's the first time I've done a pop song. That's one of my karaoke go-tos though. I didn't trust myself to do the, I'll never let you go. So on and so forth, because I was afraid I was gonna lose the pitch. I was doing pretty well through the whole park though. Let's get the last top of energy. <laughs> and then grind the rest of the ship down. Now, what you want to be careful of when you're grinding down rock hoppers, if you want to try it yourself, uh, get to this point, keep grinding, but what you want to do is make sure when you go down, do not leave the Epstein as the last one because the cleanup will delete the last block. So what I usually do is I get to this point, grind all this stuff away, grind away, and I just dig all the way down to the bottom just to make sure I get those delicious, delicious drive components. And then I just do the rest. And this is much, much faster 
than going and chewing it up with a grinder ship. I can tell you that. Is that everything? Let me drop the rest of the components in here. Boop, 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 boop. And that, my friends, is how you eat a rock hopper. And then we aim back at Ceres and resume our journey. And that, my friends, is what happens to those who do not obey the rules of the server or walk in the light of Josh. The hand of Josh is stretched out in anger and removes them for their sins. I'm something's hitting me. What do we got? Let's see, five, turn that off. It'll get deleted when we cross the border. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. that is how the hand of josh operates so we've done a little bit today we went managed to get all the way out to saturn buy some uh inner components and get some unn components and then we managed to get uh another rock hopper down in the belly and hopefully by the time i get to series it'll all be disassembled and ready to be turned into delicious delicious cash. <laughs>